Hello, so we've made it to Jones Organ part seven and yeah. This has been quite a project. It started at the end of May where we pulled the organ out of Jones house in Bristol. Then I proceeded to figure out how to get the organ to organ with minimal prior knowledge. I guess you could say, I didn't know what I was doing. In part two, we got the blower blowing. Part three, we got the pipes talking over MIDI. Part four, we added more pipes. Part five, we added more pipes. And part six, guess what? We added even more pipes and voiced it. Well, guess what we're doing today, hey? That's right, more pipes. 122 all in all, over two of the last wind chests. Prior to starting this video, I rewired these two wind chests using telephone exchange, cable, and wax lacing. Anyway, let's get on with it. So the first thing in this video that we have to do is wire a bunch of these black wires onto all of the pins on here so we can actually put the LEDs in on the top. Uh, I've already rewired this and the other wind chest that we're gonna be using in this video. So I've just got to kind of blast through put a bunch of these wires on, then we can shove the tops back on. And go on to the next step, I've already got the 3D printer printing a load of the LED mounts that go on the top bit. Um, if it wasn't for the LEDs that we were adding, uh, this would be a lot quicker, but the LEDs add a bit more time to the whole process. So the two wind chests that we're looking at in this video both have 61 pipes each. So we need a bunch of the controller boards. This is one that controls 40, so for one box we need two. And then we got another one for the other box. The reason we built these was because it only needs a MIDI cable to actually connect between the wind chest and the outside world. But quickly, before we screw them in and wire them in, we've got to put in the ULN 2A No 3 chips. So there's, um, there's a fair few of these. Now we just need to connect up this to find the right wires to put into the right bits and we should be on the way to victory! Whilst this was going on, I got a little bit of an upgrade in the 3D printing territory. The Lulzbot Taz Workhorse. It's got a much bigger build plate as you can see, and yeah, it means that we can print a bunch of these LEDs for this project all at the same time and just let it do its thing, which is very helpful right now, and likely you're gonna see it building bigger and better things in the future. Whilst this was going on, the museum was obviously open. I was doing quite a lot of the wiring after it had closed, but whilst it was open, I was doing some in there, here and there. Chris, who was a volunteer at the museum, also helped out with a bit of wiring here and there whilst it was open, and people were playing on it whilst we were fiddling around. We were trying to answer questions and stuff, and this seems to be quite a hit. People just liked getting to play on the organ. There's not many opportunities where any old randomer can come up and just play on a church organ. Usually, you need to look like you know what you're doing. Whilst this was going on, Lee came and visited the museum and dropped off this. It turns out he was coming from Bristol and picked up the bit of pipe that we managed to leave in Jones Loft. So thank you very much for that. We're going to be attaching this in the next video. By the way, if you want to come and play on the organ, come on the last weekend of October to this museum's not obsolete and you can have a play. You can even plug something in MIDI wise if you really want to.
Jesus. Jeez. Uh. Uh. Oh. Now these two are wired in, we're actually going to bolt these two together just to save a little bit on space and stuff. There's already a hole in this one, so this one's going to blow into this one right here. Uh, so we're going to make a couple of bits of wood that go in between, sandwich it together like that, and we should be, we should be good. Uh. There goes nothing. That's going to fucking sit, exactly. Yeah! It's always a very rewarding feeling when you get to a certain checkpoint like this. This is probably the biggest checkpoint in the organ project, purely because it was the last two Winchests that needed to be done, and I did them both at the same time. It took twice as long, obviously, as doing the other ones. And yeah, it was a lot of wiring, but it just feels great to finally have it there, sitting, working with the LEDs and stuff. And it's even more rewarding when you know you don't know what you're doing, but you did it anyway. <laughs> oh, it looks so... So blooming cool! Just turn the light off. So now we've got that, all we need to do is put the pipes in. Uh, hopefully that's going to be a bit straightforward. So you'll see there's a bunch of pipes been sitting around for yonks everywhere. Got a few in here, got a few there. So I'm going to go through and pop them in and try and figure it out. I'm about to do a live stream on Patreon right now and I'll share the link if you want to see the full time thing. Anyway, let's get cracking on with this. We're going to try and start plugging organ pipes in. I'm going to be doing this unless a problem arises the next couple of hours. Luckily we write all of the numbers on these. <laughs> So yeah, I just cracked on with this. It only took about three hours compared to the three or so weeks required to sort out the wind chests. But you know, it's the fun icing on the cake. So one of the pipes was really creased. So we've got it on the end of a broom. So we've got the broom here and I'm putting it in there. I'm just reshaping it a little bit because yeah, well, this is the only one that's kind of taking a bit of a, a bit of a tumble. Yeah, right, let's try this. Let's give it a go. in this noisy work we've got the little pipes on the reed wind chest which is the final one at the front all of the little ones don't have reeds they're more like these but they're a little bit louder so now we've got to go for the little 
different versions of the reed pipes. They're the same as the bigger ones that we looked at before. They've got the reed ends. We're just going to have to put them in and um, make them fit and make noises. So uh, let's go. we're going to install is one that's quite special because it's the one that I had to fix it's got the repair here hopefully it's still gonna do its thing sufficiently so this pipe you would have seen in the first episode it was the one that had fallen off the stand drooped over and cracked in half if you hadn't seen I did a short last week about repairing it what I did was basically clean up the joint and solder it and it's made a pretty good connection a very good connection in fact it's all wetted all the way around and you know it works it sounds all right This is a very special pipe because it is the last pipe to go into the organ, well, as it stands. Pretty frustratingly, I missed this valve. It had a bit of a problem. It just kept on playing. Ah! Oh, I wish I saw this problem before I put it all together. It's fine because I made the Winchester accessible from underneath, but it is a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's all right. So we had a look in there, managed to get it out, managed to fix it and put it back in. It just took a little while because it's all a little bit tight underneath there, but we're fine now. So finally, all of the pipes are in. They're sort of in tune right now. They obviously need a little bit of fettling here and there, but it is, it's, it's all here, it's all here. Right now, they're currently all plugged into play all the time. That means if you hit a note on a keyboard each of the pipes that's assigned to that note will just play we're going to be splitting them all up so they can be played at different times later on in the next video when we start looking at the console the console is the controller with all the switches and things and then we're also going to be able to plug it in to things like computers and sequences to actually play let's say a sequence here a sequence there a sequence there and all over the place you can really unlock a load of features but we haven't done that yet because obviously we hadn't got all of the bits Put in! And there's another chunk of play in this with synthesizers which we might do in the next one because yeah, this, uh, the pipes are here. I've got to be honest, I'm really quite pleased with where I've got to. It's been four months so far. I haven't worked every single week. You know, there's been times where a week's gone by and I haven't done anything to it. But I have been reasonably consistent with it and I'm really pleased that I've managed to stick at it and actually get this far, the ending is somewhat in sight, unless we start adding more pipe ranks and stuff. I mean, there's a bit of space here for something else. We're gonna have a look around and try and find a few more pipes. So if anybody's got, let's say, some Vox Humana, the ones that's supposed to sound like people and things like that, or something that you think we could fit in here, then let me know. There's also the plan to make analog synthesized organ ranks. They're gonna be sat over here as well, but that's gonna be a little bit further down the line. Like I said, pop over to This Museum's Not Obsolete on the last weekend of October and you can come and play on this and see it for yourself. If you want to see more stuff on this and live streams and other projects and stuff then go and check out over on Patreon because the support really helps make things like this possible and the museum so if you want to support this venture then please go and check it out over there. Anyway it only seems right to finish this video on another copyright free MIDI file. Take it away. Mm -hmm.